Hello, hello, Max Clark here. I am the camp director for YMCA Camp Unalaya and coming to you today with another trail video where we talk about the route and pathway that the, the kids are going to go on. Today we're talking about rocks and rapids. Now this is an awesome trip. This is designed for kids ages 14 to 17. It is a two week long trip and it is what I would call the ultimate hybrid because this is a great balance of um, doing some backpacking and getting in the backcountry, doing some canoeing and canoe camping as well as doing a little bit of car camping. They top off this whole trip with a, a half day whitewater rafting trip so it's just cool. There is fun stuff to do. The action is, is non-stop but it also it has um, a couple opportunities to enjoy some cool towns. So without further ado, let me get into the, the the trail description here. So this is our camp website. You can find out all the information about rocks and rapids. This is probably where you're seeing this video. Check it out. Trail map coming or the map video coming soon. We're making it right now. So it's going to change really quick. All right. Let's jump into the itinerary. So uh, our kids are they're not going to stay at Camp Unalaya very long. For Rocks and Rapids, they're going to stay one night at camp, pack up, get ready to go, load up canoes, load up backpacks and trail food, and they're going to drive to the 12 Mile Beach parking lot. And this is in the Pitchard Rocks National Lakeshore. The Pitchard Rocks is, is incredible. It's just an incredible backpacking area. Um, so that's where they're going to start, and they're going to kind of go to the north end there. I'm going to switch maps, so you this is going to go from like a travel map to kind of our um, trail mapping software. This is great software, by the way. Onyx. If you do anything out outdoors, I totally recommend it. All right. Um, so you can see here's the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and you've got Lake Superior up here, Lake Michigan down here, and this is pretty much where most of the action is going to take place for rocks and rapids. Right here, I'm circling it with my mouse, and uh, a little bit down here, this is where they do their whitewater rafting trip but let's zoom in so this is their parking lot where they jump in at 12 mile and you'll see a couple of routes here that I've marked out there's a aquamarine route that is actually the uh, the one week uh, pictured rocks trip for 12 to 14 year olds they go along this route actually working from from uh, south to north and our rock and rock and rapids kids are going to come from north to south and there will be a point where they actually crisscross each other so that's kind of a cool that goes on at the same time so they actually will see each other do a little trail reunion um, alright so the vehicles are going to get left here at this parking lot okay and our trail angels if you've never heard of the trail angels we have groups of volunteers that come up and their their job is to come up here grab the vehicles from our trips and drive them out to the extraction point and then leave the vehicles there for the staff so that the kids can actually just do a one-way hike instead of having to go one way and then back out the same way and see the same scenery we get to do a longer stretch and see 100 percent unique scenery the whole time and then their vehicles are waiting for them at the end so good system um, day one, they're going to drive up here, they're going to park, and they have a, a shorter hike. Oops, that's the aquamarine one. Hang tight. Whoa. There we go. It's the red path. There we go. So this is day one. They're hiking from 12 mile beach. So this is 12 mile. 3.1 miles to, this is 7 mile campground. The way the Pitchard Rocks works, it's all backcountry hiking, uh, but they have somewhat established camp, like tent campgrounds. Everything is still feels very remote, but it's really cool. Um, there are most of them have these creeks that are draining out into uh, Lake Superior, and the creeks are warm. You know, they're I don't know, 70, 80 degrees. It's shocking. This was actually the first, you know, I, I originally came from Colorado. This was the first area that I backpacked in the Midwest, and I was shocked at how warm the creeks were. I thought it was just really interesting. Um, but great camping sites. As you can see, the whole trail is along um, the shoreline for this entire stretch. And 
when you're camping here you can come down onto these beautiful beaches look how crystal clear this water is just amazing and uh, they can explore up and down the beaches and hang out and it's just really a beautiful area if you've ever been to Big Sur um, in California it looks very similar now the water is way colder Lake Superior water is pretty cold you don't swim too much in there but um, you know if it's real hot out here it feels awful good to jump in there all right so they camp a day at seven mile and I'm gonna try to click on the oh, did it again didn't it all right let's get that other path right here there we go so day two these first two days are pretty short. This is a 3.9 mile hike. And they're hiking into Trapper's Lake. So you can see Trapper's Lake is right here. Okay, so they're at, they are at Trapper's Lake for that night. And the next day they're actually gonna um, head out to Chapel Falls. It's about seven, and, Point three miles so you can see we've hopped onto the the trail itinerary for the the one week trip we're going to do that same stretch of mileage right here is chapel uh, very beautiful iconic area and um, they have the opportunity to do some day hikes in and see other features but as you can see here we've gone from kind of beaches um, to the more of the the exposed cliffs that this place is known for pictured rocks um, known for these very tall just angular um, I think it's limestone limestone cliffs and so you hike along these cliffs the whole time and there's like you know a 50 to 100 foot exposure down you're not close to that but they have little overlooks that you can go see it's just it's just fantastic just beautiful all right, so they camp there at Chapel for one night, and the next day they're going to make their way. This is the long day. They're going to make their way to Mosquito Campground right here. It's a 9.2 mile day along this whole point, and uh, pretty pretty cool. They'll camp there at Mosquito, and then their last day is a I believe it's a four mile hike out. Yep, four mile hike out to Miners Beach, and again this is where the vehicles are waiting. So one second here, I just want to see. I didn't I didn't test this out beforehand so let's see if it'll work I know I have a 3d option here so let's see if the 3d map is gonna show us how those cliffs were check that out oh yeah now you can see you are hiking along the cliffs isn't that awesome look at that and what you're looking down on is just this crystal clear blue water so you can see down here the beaches not too many features and then as we get over here sorry my computer super struggles when we go into 3d mode it's like what are you doing look at that just beautiful so that's what they're looking at as they hike along the shoreline very cool very cool okay I'm glad we tried that out let me go back to 2d All right, so let me get back to where we're at Miner's Beach. Okay, so Miner's Beach, they're going to pull out, and then they are going to head over here to Munising, and they're going to resupply, maybe get some ice cream. Definitely worth doing. And then they're going to come over here to a ferry to Grand Island. Now, Grand Island is a wilderness. It is super cool. Uh, another unique wilderness island in the middle of Lake Superior so what they're gonna do is actually take a boat and go across and then they're gonna hike along the shoreline to uh, this is the Murray Bay camp group campground group campsite okay and they have the opportunity to do some exploring around here and check this out it indicated something if you want to see something cool let's zoom in If you can see, there's a this is a tour boat with a glass bottom, and what they're actually looking at right here, you can see the outline of a shipwreck. So pretty cool. There's a shallow shipwreck right there. There's marking it on the map. It's that you know it's over here. It's not over there, but that was I thought that was cool. I caught that when I was looking at the software the other day. All right. Um, 
So Murray Bay, they're going to hang out there, and then they camp over here. They'll hike over here to the Juniper Flats campground. It's about a three-mile hike, and they'll get a, a time to be on that side of the shoreline and then come along here back to the exit. They're going to exit out and travel about 20 minutes down here to the to the mouth of the of the Indian River. Now in the past we used to come over here to the Big Island Wilderness and after you know talking with staff and campers um, over the last couple of years like what was your favorite part everyone talks about that and then they kind of just like skip over this uh, Big Island Wilderness I'll touch over it really quickly again part of my intent with these videos is that just a there's a lot of knowledge I just want to put more knowledge out there to to people you don't necessarily have to do a trip through camp I think camp trips are awesome um, and totally recommend them for kids but you could take this this information just plan your own trip so this is the Big Island Wilderness it is um, it's like an introduction to the boundary waters it's 100 percent free campings this is all public land you just come in there with your canoe and you know I've marked out uh, indicated where all the campgrounds are this information is kind of hard to find online but um, look I did the homework for you there you go so take a screenshot of that plan yourself a trip great fishing in here but anyways we want to try something new this year so we are what I've planned for them is to do a two night and three day river trip and this is the Indian River. This is what I've indicated here so they're gonna come down here and put in switching out backpacking packs for dry bags changing out hiking boots for paddles and they're gonna travel down river about seven miles there's camping along this river uh, pretty frequently so they'll camp their first night here about seven miles down the Indian River the next day is a longer day we're gonna do 15 miles down to here and the Indian River um, not it's it's not like a intense it has some um, some riffles in there I don't think anything higher than class one uh, rapids certainly certainly not class two rapids or anything but just a cool I mean t wilderness feeling river I think it's awesome um, and then the the third day is a, is another little bit longer day 14.8 miles and what they're doing is making their way south and again this is another trail angel volunteers have met up grabbed the vehicles and moved them to their extraction point and it, it, listen if you are interested in supporting camp in any way obviously um, you know we're nonprofit charities so donations help but you can donate your time too if you're interested in being a trail angel um, let me know reach out to the camp office I'd love to, to make contact with you okay um, so you'll see that they they take this Indian River all the way into Indian Lake and then they're gonna travel along the Indian Lake Lakeshore for just a little bit and pop out here and grab their vehicles because they get to explore if you've ever heard of this this is a super cool very unique feature in um, the upper peninsula it's called the big spring the native name for that is Kitchiti Kippy I hope I said that right but anyways that the big spring is a very deep sinkhole and it's a natural spring it's crystal clear you can see there's a little raft on top of it that um, it's a it's a state park and you can tour this and you can see fish swimming around in there just really cool um, and has a lot of history and significance to this area so they can jump out there take a tour of that and then they're gonna head <coughs> over here to the south end of Indian Lake uh, and the reason that I sent them here is because it is a state park campground that has showers and let me tell you by the time they've done all this and they get over here that is gonna be a treat to get some uh, hot water shower going and they have the option to get into Manistique again I totally recommend doing a day trip in here grabbing some more ice cream and some treats coming back to their campground sleeping resting up and they're getting ready for their last their last night so their last day or last two days one night they're gonna travel back over here to Niagara along the Menominee River 
and uh, we have set up whitewater rafting for them. So there's a half day stretch of whitewater rafting through here. Class one, two, three rapids. Very exciting, super cool. We go through Cozier's, which I, I totally recommend. Great company. And um, they do a great job. So they'll go there after their rafting trip. They'll head, they'll make their way back to Camp Unalaya. Sorry, I have so many little markers and stuff. I plan a lot of um, trips and outings and do my own exploring too, so this gets a little cluttered. But there you go. That is the Rocks and Rapids trip. So, folks, if you have any questions about this, you have questions about the itinerary, 